Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today, let's go through the steps on how to set up your own YouTube channel. You're watching this on a YouTube channel of sorts. This is Digital Byte Computing. As always, remembering to click on that subscription button and on the notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. But let's go through the steps right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. And today we're talking about YouTube. You're watching my video, my channel, Digital White Computing right now. This is a YouTube channel that I have created to host all of my content and all of my videos to be able to show the world what I have to say. You're watching this because you have something that you wanna to say to the world through a YouTube channel. Could be a particular topic, I don't know what you wanna talk about, it could be a skill that you have, it could just be you just talking about random stuff. Whatever it is, uh, it's very, very easy to do. We're gonna be doing this on my computer, I'm doing this on my Mac, if you're on Windows, on Mac, it doesn't really matter. The process is the same, but we're gonna open up our web browser. Uh, we're using Google Chrome, doesn't really matter again what browser, on our computer. So let's just cross over to my computer right now and go through the steps on how to set up your own YouTube channel. So here we are logged in. We are doing this from a Mac. We've opened up our Google Chrome browser. You can do this from a Windows or even a Linux computer. Uh, as long as you're connected, you're logged in on Windows, you just connect open to a browser, whether it be Google, Chrome, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, Edge, whatever it may be. Here we are on our Mac. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create yourself a Gmail account. That's generally what I recommend is have yourself a Gmail account. Uh, it could be your personal Gmail account, which is completely fine. And then you're gonna create a channel that is specific to you, to whatever sort of video channel you want to create, whether that be your own personal one, or you can create a channel that is specific to a particular you know, topic that you want to discuss, but it's all tied in to the same Gmail account. So here I am logged in, um, there's nothing in here, I've just created a demo Gmail account, there's nothing really in here. Uh, and really all I'm gonna go do right here is I'm now gonna go and open up YouTube. So I'm gonna go to youtube.com. Now because I am logged in with my Gmail account, you see that here in the top right hand corner, I can click on this and you'll see there's some information here. It's got my email address, Emilio Computer 2020, which is my temporary fake email address, and some other things, including create a channel, uh, which is actually really, really helpful. So I don't even have to go and create something new in uh, YouTube. If I'm logged into my Gmail, I literally just click into youtube.com. It's automatically discovered that and I can create a channel. If it does ask you to log in, you can log in using your Gmail credentials. And that is because Google owns Gmail and they own YouTube. So they are one in the same company, Google being the parent company above those two. So right from within here, I can select create a channel. Now your journey begins here. I can select get started. And here I've got a couple of options. I can use my existing name, so this is if I, if say, let's say I wanna make a blog about myself and you know talk about holidays or whatever it may be, and I wanna use my Emilio computer account, I can do that. You can create your own account or you can create a custom name. I generally like to keep these two separate, have this for my Gmail and everything that is private, and then have one that is more customized for me. So I'm gonna select custom name. I now give my channel a name. So I generally recommend giving your channel name as much of a unique name as possible. It doesn't have to be unique. Even if somebody else has got it, that is gonna be okay. But making it a unique name will help you to make sure that you stand out from the rest of the crowd. So I'm just gonna call it uh, Emilio's YouTube Adventures. There we go, that sounds really, really cool. I understand that I'm creating a new Google account with its own settings, including YouTube search and watch history. So I'm gonna tick on that and select create. So my channel has now been created. Now the first step right here is to now go and upload a profile picture of yourself. Tell viewers about your channel. So a little bit of a blurb, essentially a description about what your YouTube channel is about. Uh, you can add links, so if you've got a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram account that is about your channel, let's say you're, you're creating a food channel, for example, 
uh, you can actually link it to a Facebook account that is relevant to your food channel so that anybody who visits your YouTube account can be directed to your social media URLs as well. So let's just go and upload a picture right from here. For the purpose of this exercise, we're just gonna give it my digital by computing logo. This is a new channel about things I like to do. And we're not gonna do anything here. You can add your own social media. Save and continue. What I recommend is now that your channel is ready is go and uh, play around. Go and look through the different areas of your YouTube channel. The first thing you can always do is upload a video to get started. So if you've already created a video, if you've created a, a you know perhaps a video about food, if that's what you want to do, or about a holiday, or whatever it may be, you can upload it right from here. Selecting upload video, you can then just drag the video straight into here, or I can click on select files, it'll then open up your Windows Explorer or your Finder on a Mac or on Windows Explorer on a PC. Essentially, it's going to be copying that video file into your new YouTube channel. You can see other things here, including your dashboard, gives you a bit of information about your channel, all of your videos that you've got uploaded, your playlists, you can create a whole bunch of playlists. So for example, if we're talking about food, perhaps you, you go and visit a lot of Chinese restaurants, you go visit Indian restaurants, Italian restaurants, Greek restaurants. You could create a playlist for each type of restaurant, for example, just by selecting new playlist and then pointing that playlist and adding videos into that particular playlist. Uh, there's other things around ant analytics. Analytics is essentially stats about your videos and about your channel, how your videos are performing, uh, the view counts, where your viewers are located, the age, the, the gender, all those sort of things about your um, viewership. Comments is just a general comments for all of your YouTube videos and you can go and respond right from there. Now, one of the great things about YouTube, of course, is monetization. You can actually add ads to your videos and that way you can actually make money from your videos. That is one of the great things about YouTube. At the moment, you can't actually earn money until you have a certain number of subscribers. You do have to build up your channel first to be able to go and make money on YouTube. Something that is also really, really helpful to get started is going into the settings area and setting some things up in here. Uh, creating your uh, relevant currency. So for whatever country you are based in, make sure that you select the currency that is relevant to you. Remember that one of the perks of setting up a YouTube channel is that you're going to be able to make money from it. You can actually make money based on the ads that are on your video. So select the, um, the currency that is relevant for you. In my case, it is Australian dollars, if you can tell from my dodgy accent. Under channel, you can add some keywords, essentially uh, things that are, are unique to your channel to let people know uh, what your channel is about. The country that your channel is in, is it under the advanced section right here? Under Google Ads, you wanna click on link account and then go and set up yourself a Google Ads account. Um, this is essentially the area, the platform that is going to be um, submitting ads to your channel and then that's gonna be tied into some sort of a bank account to be able to transfer the funds into your account. Something else that I find helpful is under the branding area is to add a video watermark. This could be like your uh, logo, this could be a subscribe button, something similar, uh, and that will be appended essentially to every single video that you do have. Upload default is really helpful. Um, so every time you upload a new video, it'll automatically upload the information that you've added into here. So for example, if in your description, you could say, please subscribe to my channel, then every new video that you upload, the description will automatically have that listed. The visibility, whether you want your videos to become public straight away so that everybody can see them, or whether you want to make them private first so that you can actually go and edit them and make certain changes before they're made public. And then you've got tags as well. Uh, it is a great way to get your video to stand out and make your video searchable much easier across the interwebs. Advanced settings are things like uh, the video language, captions, what sort of category, so what, what sort of category does your video channel fit into? So if it's about food, as we said, it could fall under 
travel and events, for example, or something similar. In my case, I do a lot of computer stuff, so I like to have science and technology to be the category of my videos. Clicking again on the top right hand corner, I can just go back to my channel section, which I was in here previously. Uh, I can do customize channel to get some further information. In here, I can add some channel art. I can change my actual profile picture and I can see some further information right here. I can also go into video manager to see a lot more information specific to my videos. And this is the area that we were in there before. You can also do live videos and a whole bunch of other things. Now you'll see that right here on the top right hand corner again, if I go into switch account, you'll see that now I've got two listed. I've got my Amelia computer, which is my email address, but also I've got now my Emilio's YouTube Adventures YouTube channel, and they're both tied under my Emilio computer 2020 Gmail address, nice and easy. So that is a really rough high level summary. I mean, we can talk about YouTube for a very long time, if you want to be successful on YouTube, you have to spend time learning the platform, creating good content and understanding how the platform works to be able to give you uh, the monetization that you need, especially if you want to make money uh, within YouTube. So there you have it. That is YouTube up and running. Hopefully you were able to get it up and running. Hopefully you're going to be doing this in future if you haven't done it yet, but please come back and comment below. Let me know if you did find it helpful or if you need any further help. As always, please remember to like, subscribe on this Digital Bike Computing channel and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.